Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and Battlefield 5 is very, very fresh, which means that a lot of players are starting up their experiences for the first time and have no real idea what the limited options available to them when they start the game can actually do. So I'm here to help. I'll be providing somewhat of a guide for the four starter class primary weapons beginning today with the Sturmgewehr 1 to 5 of the Assault class. And I admittedly don't know if you actually say 1 to 5 or just 1 5 or something else, so just be aware aware that for the rest of this video I'm going to say 1-5. Just to make it nice and simple, if that's wrong, well then, you know, shout at me in the comments or something. Anyway, this is the weapon that is available to you for the Assault class when you first load up Battlefield 5, and I'm not really seeing anyone talk about it. Probably partially due to it being a starter weapon, and often in games they just get used until players unlock something else and forget about them. But I like this weapon, and you have to use it if you want to play as Assault anyway, a class which I think is the most viable to do well with for most average players players when they first start playing. I don't think it's some super insane option, but it deserves some consideration, and I'll tell you why. Oh, by the way, at the time of making this video, Simthic.com hasn't yet released their Battlefield 5 stats, so we'll just be using the in-game stats today. So I used Neandar sites, I, I think it's Neandar, N-Y-D-A-R, whatever it is. Hi, yeah, this is an edit, it's Nidar. I don't know why I said Neandar, it's it's Nidar, N-Y-D-A-R, alright? Good. Back to the video. <laughs> I used those sites on the Sturmgewehr 1.5. It's a one-time zoom sight, and I find it helps me to acquire and stay on the target more so than any other option. But this is just personal preference. When you start the game, you have a few options. You could select the traditional iron sights, or go for something with a higher magnification, such as the mid-range sight. Personally, I don't use the mid-range sight on fully automatic weapons such as this one, as it just doesn't feel like a great fit for it with this kind of recoil, etc. Especially as the single fire weapons are just more accurate at range anyway. But the option is there should you wish to take it. Now let's get down to particulars. The Sturmgewehr 1.5 fires at 670 rounds per minute. That's currently the second fastest firing assault class weapon, sitting behind the M1907 770 rounds per minute, whilst outstripping the STG 600. So its basic raw killing potential lies somewhere between the two in terms of time to kill. And that 670 rounds per minute fire rate is actually faster than a few of the medic class SMGs can provide, falling in line with one of them, that being the MP28. Now you usually starter video game weapons are your archetypal example of a weapon of that class, but in this case I feel differently. The STG-44 is a more traditional feeling assault rifle for me. The Sturmgewehr 1.5 actually feels something like your classic FPS game SMG in many ways, with that rate of fire and the resulting kill time. Although the hip fire feels a little suspect in my opinion, but this is the case for me with a fair few weapons in BF5. So far it's been a pretty aim down sight heavy experience, which I find fine personally as I'm that kind of player anyway, but it does mean that you might not be hip firing this weapon as much as you'd imagine with it feeling like an SMG. But while aiming down sight, it absolutely does, and you can improve the hip fire through specialization alterations, which I'll get to a bit later. Regardless, despite its SMG feel, it's not limited to just close quarters fights though. As you'll see from a lot of my footage, you can absolutely challenge at mid to even long range sometimes. This is Battlefield 5, where accuracy is rewarded and spread is far less of a factor than in, say, BF1. So if you have good aim, recoil control, and in my case, a solid grasp of how and when to tap the trigger, rather than just holding it down, you can do some surprisingly good work outside of close range. You could even switch to the single fire mode if you so wish, for longer range fights. It's something that I don't do, but be aware that it's an option if you're that way inclined. Now of course this doesn't make it a quote unquote good weapon to use for longer ranges, when compared with some of the other available options in the game. But if you have the right skill set, it's not exactly a bad one either. I'll put it this way. In Battlefield 5, a weapon has its own strengths, and then the user's ability will influence how well its weaknesses can be mitigated due to the skill-based nature of the gunfights. This leads to versatility with certain weapons that you might not expect, and the Sturmgewehr 1.5 is a good example of this, especially with a very solid 31 rounds per full reload. That's easily 2 kills per reload most of the time for the vast majority of players, and 3 or 4 kills, maybe more, here and there for some of the more adept players out there. So while it doesn't truly excel at any one particular thing where the assault class is concerned, it still feels like an out and out better weapon than most, if not all, of the medic class options. It's also a better run and gun weapon than the support class options, and obviously it's at the opposite end of the spectrum to the recon class weapons. Now let me quickly show you what your specializations look like when you start the game. Each of the four start class weapons come with four specializations already unlocked and equipped. On the Sturmgewehr, they are quick aim, so you can aim faster down sight, ported barrel, so your weapon recoils less horizontally, 
custom stock, which improves your accuracy in aim fire whilst moving, and then recoil buffer, so your weapon recoils less upwards. Then, once you get to rank 4, you can equip the other ones if you so wish instead. You can only equip one in each line, you see. So, if you want to, you can go with Quick Reload, so you, re so you, well, so you reload your weapon faster, that's instead of Quick Aim. Enhanced Grips, this is where you can start to fix that hit fire if you so wish, that will be instead of Ported Barrel. Polished Action, again, helps your hit fire, this one reduces accuracy penalty from firing in hit fire, allowing you to fire for longer, that's instead of Custom Stock. And then there's lightning stock, lightning, lighten stock, <laughs> move 60% faster whilst aiming with your weapon, that will be instead of your weapon recoil less upwards with recoil buffer. So once you get to rank 4, you can choose as you wish, this is what I run at the minute which is what you start with, I don't know if I'll change it over time, but the main ones to consider are if you want to go with hit fire or not, instead of ADS capabilities basically. Alright, good. So how should you use the weapon when you first start playing against other classes? Well against medics you can essentially do as you please. Yes there are some SMGs that can outgun you at close range in an even gunfight, such as the Suomi, if that's how you pronounce it, but overall you have more range capabilities with the Sturmgewehr 1.5 whilst absolutely maintaining close range viability. Against support you'll often win close range fights whilst being more versatile in terms of range whilst moving. You can take on most supports at close to mid range without worrying too much as long as you're mobile, but be aware that if a support player elects to use cover or lie down in order to utilize a bipod then you'll be at a significant disadvantage as their weapon will be somewhat of a laser beam and absolutely be better than yours in that scenario. And against the recon class you can again be very aggressive. Make sure you move around a lot in order to make yourself hard to hit, avoid long range fights with them the vast majority of the time as recon class weapons are designed for that and just keep a thought at the back of your mind that they may have elected to use a self loading rifle such as the Model 8 which will allow them to compete with you in a wider range of infantry fights. So to sum up, it's not the best weapon in the game or anything like that, but as a starter option, the Sturmgewehr is pretty solid and shouldn't be underestimated. It'll come down to user ability and how you like to play, but I've had a lot of success with this gun so far, maybe it could be the same for you. But what do you think? Do you like the Sturmgewehr 1.5? And if you prefer something else, what is it and why? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating would be awesome from you, subscribe if you're new here and turn on notifications with the bell button so you don't miss the huge amount of Battle of 5 content I've got coming your way. And feel free to join the Discord server in the description and my pinned comment to talk more with me and others in the community. Now let's head over to the Board of Awesome for the epic people who support the channel on Patreon. That support helps me do this every single day, so thank you so very much to everybody on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and my pinned comment. And with that all said, I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time. Latest.